In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, God's good people. Today is Thursday, the 31st of December, 2020. It is the last day of the last month of this year, 2020. You are listening to Catholic Meditation and I am Father Blessed, welcoming you to this last edition of the year 2020. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who in the nativity of your Son established the beginning and fulfillment of all religion, grant, we pray, that we may be numbered among those who belong to him, in whom is the fullness of human salvation, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the first letter of St. John, chapter 2, verses 18 to 21. The gospel is taken from St. John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 18. I read from the Gospel. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him, and without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. Not to bear witness to the light, the true light that enlightens man. He was in the world. And the world was made through him. the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people did not welcome him. But to all who received him, and who believed in his name, he gave up to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only begotten Son from the Father. John bore witness to him and cried, This was he of whom I said, He who comes after me ranks before me, for he was before me. And from his fullness we have all received grace upon grace. For the law was given through Moses, Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. No one has ever seen God. The only begotten Son who is in the bosom of the Father has made him known. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is no child. Jesus Christ was born on Christmas Day. Oh! 
Welcome Christ the light and let him illumine the darkness of your life. Welcome Christ the light and let him illumine the darkness of your life. Beloved of God, today is the 31st of December 2020. It is the last day of this year 2020. We begin by rendering immense gratitude to God for bringing us to the end of this year 2020. It has not been easy. We have been through thick and thin, yet by His grace and mercy, here we are alive. It is for this reason that we render immense gratitude to God for His love and care. Dear friends, let us thank God for His mercies. Let us thank Him for bringing us to the end of this year 2020. If for nothing, at least for the fact that we are alive. In today's Gospel, the Apostle and Evangelist John explains that Jesus the light has come into the world. Yet, many still prefer darkness. He makes a comparison between Jesus, who is light, and the darkness of our world. Wherever there is light, there is a positive difference. Light illumines darkness. Light dispels darkness. So Jesus is the light. He has come into the world to brighten the darkness of our world. Yet, many do not welcome the light of Jesus. They prefer to remain in their darkness. Jesus came to his own, but he was not accepted. From the very day of his birth, Jesus already began to face rejection. No one gave them a room. No one was ready to give them home in the inn. Do you think it was because there was none? Not at all. It was simply because he already began to face rejection. He was left in the cold and finally born in a manger because he was not welcome. What was more? Even Herod did not welcome him and sought to kill him. He remained a stranger even among his own people. He came as light to dispel the darkness of falsehood, the darkness of hate, the darkness of lies, the darkness of evil, and shine forth with the light of truth, peace, love, and goodness. Yet, many chose and preferred darkness. They did not want to welcome the light to illumine their hearts and lives. Beloved people of God, celebrating Christmas as a feast goes far beyond food and drink, gifts and clothes. If we do not welcome Christ and give him a place in our hearts, our homes and society, then, as was on that day at Bethlehem and even throughout his life, then even today we still refuse to give Jesus room in our inn. If we do not welcome Christ and what he represents, the light, it means though he, the light, has come, we still prefer darkness. How can we prove we have welcomed Christ the light? How can we prove we are people who are ready to brighten the world with the light of Christ? It can only be seen from our words and deeds, in the way we act, in the way we talk, in the way we behave, when we love everyone we see, even our enemies, when we are ready to forgive those who hurt us, when we are ready to let go, beloved, when we live as Christ asks of us, then we welcome his light. When we fight sin and when we live Christian lives like children of God, then we have accepted Christ the light. But if we reject Christ, then the contrary is true. It means we remain in darkness, the darkness of cheating, the darkness of lying, the darkness of stinginess, the darkness of hatred, envy, wickedness, war and strife. Dear God's good people, Jesus is the light of the world. 
and he wants us to welcome him. And when we welcome him and allow him to dwell in our hearts and lives, then can we shine out and illumine the darkness of the world. We need to first welcome him and give him room in our inn. The inn of our hearts, of our homes, of our families, of our society and of our world. Similarly, dear friends, we should also be assured that if you represent Christ the light, you will also be rejected and hated because our world does not like the light and truth. They prefer to remain in darkness. Jesus says, if the world did not welcome me, it will not welcome you either. So if the world did not welcome Jesus, if we try to represent him, we will not also be welcome. Consequently, it will kill and destroy us. But we should be courageous, beloved. We must fight on. This is the end of the year 2020. Tomorrow will be a new year. Dear friends, let us examine ourselves. Ask yourself and evaluate yourself. How has your Christian life been? How have you lived your life? Have you represented Christ the light? What did you do well? And what did you not do well? What do you need to improve upon? Beloved, we must do this self-evaluation. If not, it will be useless and of no need shouting Happy New Year tomorrow. It is important to first take time, take off some moments, sit back and evaluate yourself. This is what I beg of you to do this night. It is the night of the Passover. It is the night of transition. We are moving over and 20 to 2021 dear friends evaluate yourself how has your life been 2020 and how do you want it to be 2021 let us thank god for the gift of life let us tell him we are sincerely sorry for those moments that we failed and god willing that he gives us tomorrow the new year let us pledge and promise to be better than we were this year Commitment in our Christian lives. Commitment in our workplaces. Commitment in our different apostolic and action groups in church. Commitment in society, in our different meeting groups. Commitment in our families, in our homes. Let us be people with a difference. For those of you who will be chanced and opportuned to attend the midnight mass, that is the mass of thanksgiving, pray and thank God for everything and begging for a bright and shiny new year 2020. For those of you who for COVID-19 reasons may not be opportune to celebrate, we are united with you in prayers, and we join our intentions with yours to storm the heavens this night, this night of transition, this night of Passover, that the God who has enabled us to end 2020 will give us the grace to begin 2021, to welcome the light and to shine out brightly come this new year. Thank you very much for being with us all through 2020 and hopefully God will in 2021 will make it much more unique and different. God bless you. Catholic meditation with me, Father blessed. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Happy end of 2020 and we wish you the very best come 2021.